There we go. One last card. Hello everyone, I'm your host Akuma, and I'm also in trouble. I'm almost in trouble. Welcome back to another episode of Uh oh. Slide three. I just need to get to my beginning of the mission, and we'll be good. Last time, we uh, finished up all the little missions, and we are ready to complete the Australian Outback and add the Guru to our team for good. But to do that, we need to destroy the mask of whatever it was. Guru, I know you've yet to formally join the team, but we need your help to destroy the mask of Dark Earth. Hi, Yahoo. Your objective is to take out the gyrocopter while it's refueling. Huh, I got him. Glad to hear you're up to it. The bad news is the gyrocopter has a sensor that can detect your moonstone. I suspect that's how they found and trapped you earlier. Get too close, and they'll detect you, then take off out of reach. For this job, you'll need to run guards toward it, and then jump off early before it senses you. Ram a few guards into that thing, and it's sure to fall apart. This is doable. All right. You know what? Here's our first victim. Thank you, sir. All right. Now how do we get up to the head of helicopter? This is not going to be easy. Also, I can just... Get, I thought I could get back on him. I guess not. I mean, I'm okay with this. In a way. But, hmm. Maybe I should scope out the area just a teensy bit more. So I know what the heck I'm doing. Okay, now it's up there. Uh, is that on the other side? Is it going to stay over there? I feel like that would be a significant point. Okay, so I need to jump across here somehow. Or... Okay, okay, I see it. Now that I have an idea of what to do, I can do it. But I don't fall in the water. Okay, this is not water down here. That There's water, but <laughs> not the dangerous kind. Okay. Um... Oh, wait, no. Oh. Okay, he doesn't know what he's doing. Come and get me, boy. Come and get me. I'm down here somewhere. Surely I cannot be so hard to find. They've lost me already. Okay. <laughs> Man, he gave up quick. All right, you, come here. Da -na 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 Oh, triangle button. Okay. Way to go, Guru. A couple more direct hits like that. And that gyrocopter will be history! This is totally peaceful, by the way, can't you tell? There is so much peace in this thing, you don't even know how peaceful it is. You want me to kill off a bunch of miners and destroy that copter peacefully? Alright, no problem. No problem. We have so much peace, we would blow your mind. We'll blow up your helicopter, we have so much peace. Have some peace. What's going to happen to the guy that's in there? Is he going to peacefully pass on into the afterlife or whatever these guys believe in this universe? You're going to be a good sacrifice. I mean volunteer. That's what I meant to say. Bye everyone who's trying to shoot me. I just ran over a rock and that gave me coins for some reason. Also, that is the wrong way. We need to go up here and now blow up the helicopter peacefully. Yeah, there's not even a guard left. Behold, the moon spirit rises. Woo. Everyone keep an eye out for the mask. It's sure to take the bait. Right. What are you doing here? here, fellas? Looks like Carmelita finally managed to catch up. Drat! We can't stop the operation now. We'll just have to give her a wide berth. Roger, applying wide berth. Murray is a wide berth. Quit horsing around and look out for the mask. It's close. I can feel it. How does she not see us all? Here I come, master! <laughs> this, is, this is not very stealthy. Again, what is Carmelita get, doing here? Is the mask gone? Sly, can you oh, see? No. Can't oh, no. Oh, no. I'll move in. 
how are we going to do this? Cooper, thought I'd find you here. Carmelita, you've uh, got a little something on your face. It's not nice to make fun of a girl's looks. Maybe I should smash you! Now that's not nice. <laughs> Carmelita is our final boss in this area? That's incredible. Bentley, could use a little help. How about putting a few of your sleep darts in Carmelarja here? <laughs> try off the mask. Sure. Um. Oh, no, that's the wrong thing. Okay, hold on, hold on. Come on, get her. It's, it's a gas, so you would think. Okay, hold on. Also, good job, Sly, evading her. Oh my gosh, I got her. Oh wait, she's shooting me. <laughs> uh, let's avoid that. Let's avoid that. I was trying to figure out uh, what was going on there. She just suddenly stopped chasing Sly for some reason. Okay, that's not good. Hi, Carmelita. Uh, but where are you going? Sly went the other way. That was confusing. Sly was safe for a moment, yay, but, uh, what? Yes, yes, you shoot up here, and then I move. Not a big deal now that I know you're trying to shoot me. I think there was something in the bottom right corner, but I couldn't see what it was. I assume it was how many times we need to peg her. That's the wrong thing to do. Okay. Three left. In your face! Literally! And the other one just didn't count? That's disappointing. She's so focused on Sly. Is that her, the mask, or a combination of both? Like, because of how she views Sly, antagonistically, that is, does that tell the mask that he is the main target, or is the mask just, eh, sure, we'll go after him now? Finally, <laughs> the darts are starting to kick in! Or not! The chemicals in my darts must somehow be interacting with the mask to make her even bigger! Whoa, you're not kidding, Bentley. She's getting gigantic! Everyone head for the big truck. We've got to get some distance between her and us. She might shrink back down with time. Right. So now we're going to do a car chase scene? Oh my good gracious, he's huge. Ay, 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 ay. She's carrying a truck! What? What? Sure, let's throw explosives at Sly's love interest. That'll slow her down until she dies. I mean, stopped is completely slowed, right? Yeah, not too hard. A little bit concerning, but, you know, not too hard. Who's throwing these, by the way? Sly has the most experience. Is Sly throwing explosive barrels at Carmelita? This seems very much out of character. Ow. Stop it. Carmelita, please. Okay, she's starting to catch up here. I just need to get rid of some. She's throwing them too fast. Come on now. Oh, that was a good hit. Okay, we're almost done, actually. Yeah, this is not terrible. That was stupid. And it worked. <laughs> she- What?! How? How was that making her bigger? She's too huge! We can't outrun her in the truck! How are you doing that? This is bad! We need a new strategy, and fast! Force just isn't working! Time to stop running and deal with the real problem. Pry off that mask of Dark Earth, and maybe we'll get back the Carmelita we all know and love. I do not love her! <laughs> okay, not the point. 
It's all about taking off that mask. We gotta find a way up there. You're the climber, and I'm sure you've always wanted to get closer to her. <laughs> Can't get much closer than climbing up her boot laces. That's not a crazy idea. Oh yeah, it's crazy. You've got a better idea? Yeah, but we'd need a giant fighting robot. Um, so I'm gonna have to go with the bootlace plan. Yeah, let's not turn this into a episode ending of Power Rangers. Watch out! What? Why? There we go. Alright, gonna have some fun here. Thank goodness she has pants like Han Solo. Okay, I pushed the circle button because I wasn't sure where it wanted me to go. Also, I don't know what Bentley said, but can you guys maybe take care of these guys that are shooting at me? I highly appreciate it. Where am I going? Oh, up there. Okay, okay. What am I climbing now? Her hairband? Okay, yeah, that helps, that helps. Okay. So that's... That was stupid. Um, okay, she doesn't leave a big ol' shockwave, which I like. Why are these guys here? They're not even making it more difficult on me. It's just annoying. Uh, what? Fly. There we go. <laughs> she almost hit you with a truck. Correction, she almost slapped you with a truck. It's not running away? You know what? That's fine. That's fine. That's even better. I mean, we killed a, a whole bunch of guards, but uh, I mean, that part's not good, but still, we destroyed the mask. All's good. Carmelita just lay there, unconscious, helpless on the desert floor. Being gentlemen, we kept watch over her throughout the night. Her camera proved to be a real source of entertainment as we took turns posing. Didn't want her to go home empty-handed. Even the guru gets in on it. Morning broke, and we got a clear view of the landscape. It was beautiful, empty of the miners that had been digging and drilling into the sacred place. The moment was broken as Carmelita began to stir, and we prepared for another quick exit. <laughs> Only this time, it wasn't just the three of us. For the first time in Cooper gang history, we picked up a new member, and the team would never be the same. Welcome, Guru. That's awesome. Also, I can see what one of the final thumbnails is that I'm going to have. <laughs> Probably like everybody else who's ever played this game, but still. Alright, Flight of Fancy. Let's just jump right into it. I can English. Shut up. Bentley was obsessed. Every night, he'd pore over the blueprints to Dr. M's fortress, looking for a way to get into the Cooper vault. He soon came to the conclusion that there was no way inside unless the gang picked up a dedicated RC specialist, an expert who had mechanical and piloting skills far exceeding his own. Hey, what? After weeks of searching techie chat rooms, he finally found someone who could keep up with him intellectually. A gearhead genius out of Holland named Penelope. This is gold. She politely declined our invitation to join the team, saying she only works for the best. So... Apparently, her idea of the best was her boss. The Black Baron, a big-time dogfighting champ up there in Holland. 
He's so good that he's even set up an international competition called Aces to attract worthy opponents. A few days later, she sent us a counteroffer. If our gang could manage to beat the Black Baron at his own game, then she'd know we weren't just a pack of jokers, and therefore, worth her time. So, we got busy. With no time to lose, Bentley and Murray worked to put a plane together, while I got my pilot license the fastest way possible. <laughs> We'd prove to this Penelope that the Cooper gang was up for the challenge, even if we were making it all up as we went along. <laughs> Just like Bentley wanted. Maybe more than he wanted. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is going to be fun. I prefer Flight of the Navigator, but sure, we'll do Flight of Fancy. So we're hiring somebody with Bentley's skill and Murray's driving ability. Oh dear. Was not expecting her to show up immediately. Also, does she know that that's a criminal? He might just be a punch clock security guard. In which case, that was very rude of you. I mean, it's the second rude action we've seen of her, but I mean, you know... Maybe the first one only counts as a half. One and a half rude Carmelita moments. Yeah, we'll go with that. Also, that was a very underwhelming final boss in the last one. I'm surprising that Carmelita was that, but uh, still. Kind of underwhelming. Wow. Second floor safe house. I'm game. Let's see what we got. Th that was odd. Quite an interesting start. Certainly different, too. If we're gonna succeed in this year's Aces competition, we'll need to learn who we're flying against. What? They keep the flight roster a secret? Correct. In years past, competitors would go out at night and sabotage each other's planes in preparation for the next day's dogfight. I get it. So now they keep the lineup a secret and no one knows who to mess with. Precisely. Looks like you're a good pilot, but we've only got one plane, and you'll be up there against dozens of bogeys. You know, normally I'd make some sarcastic remark about how overwhelmed I am by your confidence in me, but those are some grim odds. And, well, you know, I'm always up for some sabotage. Glad to hear it. Now, the roster is kept secret from the pilots, but not from the event staff. Do we have a mole on the inside? Our friend, Dimitri, has been hired to give color commentary during the dogfights. He'll know where the roster's hidden. Scout about somewhere in the hotel lobby, but be careful. If you start a fight with the other pilots, we'll be kicked out of the competition. Sure, we all play nice until tomorrow. Then we blow each other to bits at 300 feet. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Go talk to Dimitri. So I'm in disguise. These guys have no reason to want to hate me. I don't think we would start a fight. Probably. So, I'm disguised. I can blend in just fine. Am I going to have to give a password like before when I was in disguise? Dimitri, where is he? There he is. Yeah, this should be simple and interesting. What's up, dude? And also, when are we going to hire Dimitri? I see this coming. Please start talking to him. Dimitri, funny seeing you here. Never pegged you as a flyboy. Like a dance floor with many lights. I have many profiles. They don't even try to understand the silky enigma of Dimitri. Bentley seemed to think you might have a copy of the Aces flight lineup. That true? And why should I talk to a two-bit Rudy Poot cracker box like you? Question mark in bold. Why? Intimidate? Ah! Uh, I mean, does he know that we're who we are? Threat don't use threaten violence. A logical argument, threaten to expose. I don't want to do that. Let's try a logical argument. Threaten violence just seems like a stupid thing to do. Let's talk to the guy. 
be gentlemen about this. We both know you're gonna tell me. You wouldn't have bothered showing up if you didn't want to talk, so spill it. I know, but to talk is like sitting on a electric chair. The Baron has eyes, eyes and ears, ears and fists. Dimitri will be discovered, and the jig is pinched. Well, in that case, I can tell you. Oh, wait, no. He's paranoid. So compliment him, swear to keep it all a secret, promise to... Oh! I was just saying we want to hire him for the team. If we can, like, do stuff for him over the course of the game, which I'm sure we will. Yeah, promise to protect him. If you talk, me and the gang will protect you. We're all in this together. You can count on us. You know our reputation. That Baron is a big wheel. He'll roll all over us. Too many men he commands. We can't stop them. Too many to count. Hmm. So, it's going to be... Alright, I mean, just swearing to keep it all a secret. I don't know if that would work, but he does like the compliments and such. Appeal to the ego. Come on now, Dimitri. A man like you can deal with this Black Baron. You've got the best fashion sense of anyone I know. The fashion? Style? You're right. If I cannot dress him, I can certainly outsmart him. All is told through clothes. Okay, I'll talk a flight lineup if you agree to owe Dimitri a favor, which I'll collect in a few months of time. A favor? All right. It's no small time favor like, will you water my fish or feed my plant? No way, bro! This old school mafia blood pack favor, like movies, <gasps> big time. I love his, uh, <laughs> not sure I want to owe him. Water his fish and feed his plant. Yeah, that sounds like genius. Agree, refuse, offer him a... Hmm. I am curious about what the favor would be. But, I mean, obviously refusing is going to get us nowhere, but what kind of bribe would Sly offer? I know it's not going to work, but what would the bribe be? Would a few coins maybe change your mind? I find it's a lot easier a to few? talk when I'm rich. Bribe money? Le bling? Cash won't help me get done what needs getting done. I need gang of thieves, not Federal Reserve. Oh, wait a second. This isn't just a favor. He's saying he wants to hire us for a job that he already has in mind. You know what? Fine, we'll do this. I'm <laughs> this is probably the RPG side of me looking at it and like, ooh, a side quest. But yeah, now I'm super curious. Okay, We're doing you. this. Hook me up with the flight roster and we'll owe you one. Done! <laughs> the bargain she has struck. To find flight roster, look behind one of the tacky paintings in Black Baron's air hangar. It's hidden in secret safe. Art decryption lock, huh? I know just the guy for the job. <laughs> Stand cool. Here comes Big Cheese. Hey there, Cheddar. Is that Yosemite Sam? I bid you all a most flamboyant welcome, my esteemed comrades of the skies. Welcome, welcome to another year of the Aces competition. We've got teams here from across the globe. Canada, Belgium, Ecuador, Iceland, Korea, and many, many more. Not the least of which is last year's deadly runner-up, Team Mugshot. This time what? we're gonna drill you jokers full of holes. Okay, this is a twist. Now, we all know that in years past, some teams have engaged in a little good-natured late-night hygiene. <laughs> Like when Team Canada stole Ecuador's parachutes. Or when Team Iceland sawed the landing gear off Korea's planes. <laughs> or when Portugal put rat poison in Team Mugshot's coffee machine. Yes, yes, that was all so very funny, but no more. No, funny? No one. Absolutely no one is to leave the hotel after sunset. If my guards catch you outside, you will be beaten to within an inch of your life. No exceptions! This will be a fair competition! Same as last Interesting. year and the year before! I've got the scars to prove it! I bid you all an exuberant and exaggerated farewell, pilots. Tonight, sleep like geese. And tomorrow, so like eagles, eh? <laughs> I am super invested in all of this. They don't lock the front door to the hotel. This isn't a jail. 
but you heard the Baron. What's outside? Things will get dangerous. Mugshot. Is that him up there? I want to go see Mugshot. I hope it doesn't get me in trouble and he won't recognize me. I mean, we're just here for the competition. Sure, that, that's it, right? Is he all the way around in the back? I think I see something coming into view. No. Okay, at least I can still jump. Where'd Mugshot go? Where'd Mugshot go? Okay, I guess we won't go talk to Mugshot. But now I'm very interested that he is part of this. Okay, sure. We get to see a little bit more of the hotel. Uh, where did the Baron go? I guess he wouldn't stay in the hotel. Aww. You're a cute couple. I assume you are. What? You <laughs> just change out of your disguise right in front of them. Okay, this is going to be the most fun mission ever. I think I'm actually going to call it the end of the episode here. That is a lot of cheese. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and call it the end of the episode here. Thanks, everyone, for joining me for today's episode of Sly 3. Come on back next time, and we will be heading up to the Baron's Castle. Haven't even been in the safe house yet. I mean, we kind of started there, but kind of also not really. So, what's in here? Ooh, vent. Yeah, I'll crawl in the vent. See you next time, everyone, and as always, take care.